this video, I'm going to go over lug prep beginning with the slip fit between the tube and the lug. fit in this one. So we got our tube fit, we've got a nice slip fit on the lugs. Next what we're going to do is we're going to go after parting lines, these things that are sticking out part of the casting process, and we're going to make them look smooth. This could be done when it's on the bike, but it's easier to do this when it's off the bike. Sometimes you get silver spillage and you got to polish it anyway, but this reduces time and it's easier to manipulate a lug than it is a whole frame. So we do our parting lines, then we do our points. We want to improve the aesthetics of the point here. So we'll taper, we want to have a nice arc on the point, we'll do the same thing on the tabs, on the points on this side. So we'll get our points and we'll use different, we'll use a Dynafile, which is an air driven tool. I've got different rollers which will give me a different radius, so depending on which size my point is, I'll choose which Dynafile I'm going to use. So here I have to use a smaller radius. On some of them I could use a larger radius. I'm getting my points. Ninety degree angle between the tube and the lug edge all the way around because it changes as we go. So I'll use my Dynafile for doing my edging as well. edging done so that when I'm done brazing I don't have to go after these things with the riffler which sometimes I have to I'll sit down with one of these jewelers files and, and get my edges really nice so it's easier to do it beforehand so the four steps are I get a tube fit then I do my parting lines then I do my points then I do my edging and then my lugs are ready mm -hmm. 